Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williams on Pippin's Pages and Pippin'sPlugins.com and in this tutorial what I want to show you is how to use easy content types and meta fields to control the layout or control the content that is displayed on your WordPress page or post. So take for example this post right here, Hello World. Uh, this is running on the default 2010 WordPress theme and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use easy content types to add a couple of meta boxes and meta fields to my post and then use check boxes, select fields, etc. to actually control what gets displayed on this page. For example, maybe at the bottom of the page I want to control whether my author bio gets displayed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a checkbox that will say display author bio. If that checkbox is checked, the author bio will be displayed. If it's not checked, it won't be displayed. Uh, so I'm going to stay pretty simple with just one or two examples, but these examples should actually show you how to do this with a huge array of different things. Um, some things may look really simple, some things may look really complex, but the thing is, is that with meta boxes and meta fields and easy content types, you can really easily completely control the layout of your WordPress theme or uh, the way that your post displays using what I'm going to call conditional logic, basically saying, if this is true, show this. Um, and we're going to connect those conditional logic statements into our meta boxes. Uh, so that was kind of a long ramble, but let me go ahead and get into it and just kind of show you a real world example of how this works. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to my dashboard and I'm going to go to content types and meta boxes and I'm going to create a meta box for my post. Uh, so we're just going to call it post meta. It's going to be displayed on the post, post type, and we'll leave the context and priority normal. Uh, so we'll add that in. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to edit the fields. We're going to add a new field and we are just going to call it auth, uh, dis, uh, let's just call it author bio. And then uh, we're going to give it a description saying display the author's bio. Uh, display the author bio. Let's do that. Okay, and we're going to choose a checkbox and we're going to add the field. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our post and I'm going to edit hello world. And now if we scroll down, we see our meta box that says display the author bio. So we go ahead and check that and we click update. So this checkbox now is going to allow us to control the author bio on whether or not it gets displayed. This is the author bio. So now that we have that done in the back end, we need to go in and modify our theme. So what I've done is I've opened up loop-single.php. Uh, this is going to vary depending on what theme you're using. If you are using uh, the default 2010 theme, this is the file you're going to open. If you're using a 2011 theme, it's going to look somewhat similar, but very likely you will open up what's called single.php. Uh, but anyway, so what we need to do is we need to find the section where we have author bio. And we actually see it's right here. It says, if get the author meta description, it's basically just saying, if they filled out the author bio, let's go ahead and display it. So what we're going to do is we are going to add in one more conditional check. Uh, first of all, let me just correct some of this formatting so it looks a little nicer like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this entire section in another conditional statement like this. If get post meta, then we're going to use the uh, post ID, that's the ID number of the post. And then ECPT, uh, if we look back over here, uh, let's go back to our meta boxes. We can actually find the ID of our particular field. Uh, in this case, it's ECPT author bio. So let's put the ID number in there and set that to true. So this is basically a function called get post meta, which is described uh, if we go to the help page and we go over here to displaying field info in your template, it is actually displayed uh, right here. So if you're not familiar with this function, go check out the help file and it will help you out. Uh, so anyway, so we're going to do this basically it says if get post meta, this is our field like that. Okay, and now go down here and close the if statement just like that. So basically this checkbox has two conditions, true or false, or 
on or off. So all we have to do is we have to check to see if it is on. To do that, all we have to say is if get post meta. Uh, this will validate as true if the checkbox is on or checked. So let's take a look. Okay, we see the author bio, and that's because over here, let me go back up to my post, go to hello world, uh, we have actually set it to on. So if we uncheck that, Now the author bio is hidden. Okay, so there's a really quick example of how we can actually control the layout using our meta box in easy content types. Uh, you can do a whole variety of things. Uh, this is a really simple example, but it's also a very clear example because ultimately it doesn't change a lot. Whether you're hiding an entire section of your post template or you're hiding one word or two, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. You're still gonna do it in exactly the same way. Um, so, here's some ideas for how you can go further with this. Um, one, uh, if you are familiar with page templates, you know that when you are select, when you're going into a page, you can go over here and you can choose template. Well, these templates don't exist for regular post, not unless you're using a plugin. Well, one example that you can use the meta boxes for is you can actually create your own templates. And then what you can do is you can simply say, okay, here's a drop down, choose the, the template that you want. And then in your template file, you basically say, if get post meta, your template field is this, we're gonna display this content. If it is set to this, we're gonna display this kind of content. Uh, so you can very easily control the layout. Another thing that you can do is you could have a meta box or a field that says display Twitter information. Okay, do you want to display follow me on Twitter links or do you want to display social sharing links? Um, you could have an option in here that is choose your color and then you could have each of your posts you could have it color coded for the color that they choose in here with a select drop down blue, red, green, etc. And then in your theme you can actually use that color and change it based using your CSS based on which color they choose. Um, you could have it enable or disable images or enable or disable a gallery system. You can do anything you want. Um, so what I really want to show you is how flexible this is and what you can really do. The number of meta fields that you can have in your meta box is unlimited, uh, meaning that you could do countless options. Here we've displayed the author bio. We could have one that displays a gallery at the bottom, enables or disables a gallery. We'd have one that dis disables or enables the social sharing links. We'd have one that enables the sidebar, disables the sidebar. Um, so rather than having all your single post showing the sidebar or no sidebar, you can do it on a post by post basis. To do that, here's all you would do. You would say, if get post meta inside of our single.php like this, And then you would obviously you would change your ID to maybe something like that. If get post meta sidebar, get the sidebar. Otherwise, don't. Um, so what you can do is unlimited. Um, I hope you take it and expand with it. Uh, to give you a real world example, I use this kind of conditional logic every single day in theme development. Uh, I write a lot of WordPress themes for clients, uh, business partners, etc., and I use these every single day. Uh, getting a grasp on these and kind of understanding the way that you can do it. Ultimately, they're really, really simple, but understanding how you could really easily control your layout uh, can take a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, it will dramatically increase the power of what you can do in your WordPress theme. Um, so, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, feedback, comments, etc. Let me know on the comments page, and thanks for watching.